Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the kitchen at Thuya Hill. As usual, it's very good to have you here with me today. So I have got a different kind of video for you today. It is the beginning of fall, and so for me, what that means is I need to stock up my fall and winter pantry. Now the place I love to do this is Aldi because they have gotten much better at stocking really good quality items in the organic section. And a lot of the items do not have seed oils, which is super encouraging. So I stock up on things like tomato sauce, salsa, ghee, and a variety of other things, which I will show you when we come back today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to Aldi and we're not gonna get any other groceries today. We're just going for the purpose of stocking up our fall and winter pantry. So I'm gonna take you there. We're gonna shop till we drop and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you everything I got for these coming seasons. So come on, let's go. All right, friends, we are back from Aldi and we did it. We accomplished our fall and winter pantry stock up grocery shop session. This is not something that I do frequently. This is something that happens about twice a year when I'm trying to restock our pantry with pantry items such as these. So I'm gonna take you through what I bought and hopefully you're inspired to take care of your pantry this season as well. All right, so starting over here at the far left, every now and then you'll see these beautiful products from Germany or France or Italy. And at this season, because Oktoberfest and different fall celebrations are happening, Aldi carries a special line of mustard from Germany. And so I decided it would be really fun, since I'm such a huge fan of mustard, to pick up three jars of the horseradish mustard and then the whole grain mustard. Ingredients in them are minimal, which is fantastic. I always love that. Next, I picked up three jars of their ghee. It is grass-fed. And we use this kind of on and off. I go back and forth between using tallow to saute things, and then I will also use ghee. If I'm gonna fry something, I will always use tallow. But in terms of cooking on the stove, sauteing on the stove, I'll go between tallow and ghee. And if it's a low heat, I'll use olive oil. I bought four jars of their organic superfood juice. I love this juice. It comes in a glass bottle. The ingredients are very minimal. There's absolutely no sugar. It is just 100% juice, and it tastes really good to sweeten water kefir. And so that is the juice I use if I don't buy the grape juice from Azure. All right, and the next, every mom in the house knows you gotta have the good old reliable staples of peanut butter and jelly for those days that you just want a quick and easy lunch for your kids. And so I bought six tubs of their organic creamy peanut butter. We like this, it tastes great. And then we also really enjoy their organic jam. We got a variety of the raspberry and the strawberry jams, and I did get six jars of those. And then next, going down the line, I got seven jars of their organic salsa. This is excellent. It has no seed oils in it. It's just basic ingredients and the taste is delicious for the nights we do quesadillas or we just want chips and salsa. I really enjoy having their salsa on hand. All right, and then just a staple, I generally make sure that I have these in the pantry. These are just their organic diced tomatoes and I got myself six jars of these as well. I kind of tried to shoot for six of each. A couple of these I got some extras. This should last us a good amount of time. I do still have some jars of tomatoes and other things in the pantry, but this will do us good for at least the fall, if not into the winter as well. All right, next I got their maple syrup. It is delicious. It's 100% pure maple syrup. It's a really good price at Aldi. I do enjoy getting it from Sam's Club on occasion. Aldi and Sam's are the cheapest. I like that they come in glass bottles. The taste is great. I got seven jars of the maple syrup. I wanna say it's like $5.79 for a 12.5 fluid ounce jar of maple syrup, and that is not bad. It's a great price. All right, next, good old reliable, probably my favorite product at Aldi is their tomato sauce. It is so good for pizza. It is so good for pasta. And so I just love having it on hand. One day, God willing, 
I hope to can my own. But for now, I rely upon this. This is just their organic marinara pasta sauce. And again, I use this for pizza and all sorts of pasta dishes. I got six jars of those. All right, next, I bought all these organic light brown sugar. Now, I don't really use brown sugar for anything other than making water kefir. That's the only thing I use it for. This takes a long time to go through a bag because you only need about a quarter of a cup for each water kefir batch, but I don't like running out. And so I got myself three bags to have in the pantry. All right, next, I bought their wild Alaskan canned pink salmon. This is really good to have on hand for salmon melts or just a quick and easy salad. The taste is great. It is wild caught, which is, of course, the best way to eat your fish. So I got three tins of those. And then I also got three tins of the wild caught skipjack tuna. This is just good to have on hand for quick and easy lunches as well. It's kind of a rarity, but it's, I like to have the option if we need the protein. Next, I bought their California raisins. I really like having these on hand for homemade granola and snacks. They're really tasty and there is nothing in them besides raisins. So that's always a good thing and it's a hard thing to find these days. All right, next, this olive oil is delicious. It is a little bit more expensive than the Aldi brand organic olive oil, but it is so good. It's Sicilian olive oil. It's 100% Sicilian extra virgin olive oil. So there's no combination of regions that the olive oil is from. It's so tasty. It's probably one of my favorite things to have on hand. I did just buy a massive gallon of olive oil from Azure Standard, but if I want really good tasting oil for pastas, I will use this instead. So I got six containers of the Sicilian olive oil. All right, Aldi is a hidden gem in some ways because they have items from all over the world, and that's really special to me. One of them is their pasta. They have authentic Italian pasta, which is so great. I buy it regularly. All of the pasta you see here is from Italy. I got a variety of pastas. I got the Catara pasta, the linguine, and the fettuccine. And for the other pastas, I got a variety of rigatoni, some penne, and some of the little ear-shaped pastas. Those will go down real quickly this fall and winter. Generally, even though I love to make my own bone broth, I do not like being without it. If we ever get sick or we just crave a good soup on a cold winter or fall night, I love having their boxed chicken broth on hand. So I bought six of their chicken broths. It's from Free Range Chickens and it's organic and it's a really good price. And I love having this in the pantry. All right, and then I bought a variety of butters. I never wanna be without butter. Love having it on hand. It is one of my favorite foods. So this won't last us long. This I just got to stock up because I can't ever get it on Azure. Every time I order it, I get an email saying that it's out of stock. So I stocked up a little bit on their pure Irish butter. I got six of those and I got six packages of just your regular old organic butter quarters to use for baking. And then last but not least on the very end, I did end up buying two bottles of the 100% vanilla. It's really good, it's not a bad price, and I always need vanilla, so I thought those would be good to have in the pantry. All right, friends, that is it. That is my Aldi fall and winter pantry stock up haul. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, and I'd love to know what are the things that you stock up in your pantry for these cooler winter months. Please feel free to leave your comments below, and please subscribe if you like this channel. I'd love to have you over at Lilia Hill. So as usual, friends, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye for now.